just got off a work weekend. Woo! It was a poop show. Welcome to Spicy Cat Jams. You're here. I'm Kathy. It's a chitter chatter one. Just listen to me talk. Uh, I don't know what you should call these. I guess it's a vlog, kind of, or just a visit. It's a, it's a minivan vlog, visit, whatever. Once again, it's sunny. You can actually see the rays of sunshine. Isn't that cool? Um, and yes, I am parked in my minivan down by the lake. I am pulled off, so in case the police officer needs to do a drive-by, I can just turn and wave at her. But we should be good. So, oh, things to update you on. Work, ugh, I'm a little bit stressed. I have one shift, one, one shift left as a trainee, and then I'm on my own because my coworker, trainer, I think friend, is going states and states away to help at another facility for a couple weeks. So he promised he'd be available, but I joked, I said, yeah, you and then our boss who's going with him. I go, you guys are going to be like sitting at the bar, both looking at your phones. Yep. It's her. Don't answer. <laughs> no, seriously. He'll help me. But, um, yeah. So a little nervous and there's actually three shifts, but I'm taking two off cause I'm taking a little mini vacation. Although I might go into work on Monday just because I am so nervous about being on my own so well not on my own there'll be other people there but you know what I mean so or maybe you don't and I'm just rambling it doesn't matter what can I tell you what is new and updatingly exciting no coffee today although it is a little chilly I got some beverage Diet Mountain Dew because if you had breakfast pizza you could get it free I'm all about the free <laughs> It is the last week for the swimming pool to be open, and I should be in there doing water exercise, but it's a little cold. I have two punches left on my punch pass, so I need to go. I can only go Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, and then I'm going to be out of town. So my goal is to do both of those. Other than that, it is the fifth annual CNE Crafty Retreat this upcoming weekend. I am so excited. Eddie and I started doing this. It started out kind of a big argument for the very first one because I kind of bought the package, the weekend package, without talking to him first. It was kind of a lot of money. So that was, and that was my bad. You know, I actually dislike that saying. Why did I just say it? Somebody I work with says it all the time. My bad. True debt. I'm too old for that. It was my fault. And, um... We worked through it and he actually came on board and like paired with me and it is a hit now. We do it every year, the weekend before Labor Day. We rent this, it's a house and I'm sure I've talked about it here before. I'm sure I have, but sometimes you're somebody, a new friend in the past year. So it's a house that will sleep 15 people and there's actually 16 of us. Kim is not sure if she'll be there or not the whole time. So I might get her bed instead of the cot. Um... But sure, she and I just need to video. I am like out. Well, I could go back to our <laughs> um, road trip vacation to Florida from like two and a half years ago and finish those up. But as far as our like um, food tasting and all that kind of stuff, we are out. Run dry just because summer, busy, crazy life, we haven't had a chance. And when we do get together, she will fill you in what's been going on on in her life. But um, I do hope she can make it this weekend. One, so we can film some stuff. And two, because I need to catch up with that girl. But there's 15 slash 16 of us. Um, and we are, I changed it a little bit. We're actually going to show up Thursday at 3 o'clock. We can check in and then we have to be out by noon on Monday. So everyone brings whatever they want to work on. We have friends that aren't crafty and they like bring their laptop. Last year, one of my BFFs from childhood came down and she is a photographer and she just sat and edited video the whole or video photos the whole weekend. Um, they're scrapbookers, card makers, all that. It's whatever you want. You could just sit and read. It's time away. So they pay a certain amount and Eddie and I figure out what it will cost which covers basically the rental and then also the food and then Eddie does all of our food he likes to take care of the women folk and um yeah he does everything he plans the meals he serves them he does the cleanup he's like nope you guys are here to relax you're here to enjoy and work on your projects you don't need to be stressed out worrying about the food or taking care of that such I know I lucked out. He's like such a supportive, loving husband. So 
that was cool. Um, or it is going to be cool. And then it goes by so fast, though. You'd think, oh, this is going to be so fun. And it is. And then it's like, oh, it's time to pack up. So I have the next two days off, Monday and Tuesday nights, since I work overnight. So I have those two off. And I need to get some sleep because I have not been sleeping. More on that in a minute. Um, or 10. <laughs> and um, so I need, I'm going to, after I film this, I'm going to go home and sleep. I'm probably not even going to edit until later tonight. So it might be dark when this posts and just imagine this is sunset instead of sunrise. Um, and then overnight, I'm going to just stay awake and that's why I need to get my stuff ready and packed and figure out what I'm going to bring. I always bring way too much and I hardly get anything done. So I'm sure I'll be, or I'll just be doing cards. I plan to work on greeting cards. So let's hope I have a lot to show you guys. Um, so that's my exciting. The other thing, oh yeah, so the caterpillars. Okay, seriously, the ironic part of Kathy hatching. <gasps> okay, we gotta look at this. Sidebar, okay, can we even see though? Can you even see all the families of, I can't tell, are they ducks? Are they, no, they're pelicans. Can you see them, friends? There's a tree in the way, I know. I'm pretty sure those are pelicans. Look at them like, oh, we're having breakfast. Wow. I didn't know we had pelicans. Are gulls? Are they gulls? Maybe they're gulls. I don't know. You're probably just being blinded, so I'll turn you back around. Ooh, and then there's more coming in. They're flying in. Oh, oh. Gosh, why am I in front of a tree? Seriously, I am not a professional. And there's more coming in. Coming in for landings. Yeah, I'll probably need to edit this out. It's like a serious family reunion of whatever kind of birds these are. And there's more and more? Okay, hold on. Bringing you back around. <laughs> so when I edit this, I'll see if you actually saw anything. But, oh, and then there's more. See, a couple months ago when I was sitting here, it's like the little family of geese were out for there. You know, there are ducks or geese were swimming, but those are definitely not ducks or geese. Hmm. Okay. Where was I? Oh, caterpillars. So I, I think I told you in the last one how much I love the whole process of watching the monarch caterpillars transform into butterflies and it's a huge connection with my mom. So I brought them to work and everyone there was so excited. They were loving it, loving it. It was like a week and a half, almost two weeks. And then suddenly I get the email, um, we can't have those there. You need to bring them home. And I was like, my honest response, was, it was my boss who told me, who had been out of town. He's like, I kind of, you know, get the feeling they waited for me to get back to talk to you. And I'm like, whatever. Obviously, it wasn't such a big deal. But what we do have in my office are fly strips hanging from the ceiling with a bunch of dead flies on. Yes, the facility as a whole is a food processing environment. I know that. The area we work in is the shipping transportation. There is no exposed food. It is the dirtiest armpit of the warehouse or the whole building. It is like between diesel fuel and just dust and dirt. I like go home and wash my face and like the cotton pads come back with black from... <laughs> It's like, I don't even want to think what my lungs look like. Um, oh, we have a jogger coming. So uh, the fact that these caterpillars in enclosed containers were not acceptable. It, it just made me laugh. I didn't. I'm like, whatever. I'm not going to argue about it. But since then, everybody has been like, where, where are they? Are they butterflies? What happened? I'm like, hmm, had to take them home. And that's all. I don't make a big deal of it. So I've had to take them home, which means I cannot get any sleep because every time I come home from work, I have to bring them new food, which is a new leaf, a new milkweed leaf. And then I have to check on them. And what was it? Fr I worked Friday night and the two days prior to that shift, I just had like done little naps. I hadn't slept. I think I'm just, I know I'm anxious with work, you know, how there's still so much to learn and just life and the retreat. I do it to myself. Um, I stress myself out when I don't need to, but so I hadn't slept a lot and, um, oh, a biker just drove by, um, biked by, um, 
What was I going to do? Oh, so I hadn't slept a lot that Friday. So then I get home Saturday morning after work and I fed the caterpillars and I could tell one of them, because I have them in varying stages, was about to do the transformation into the chrysalis. And I very rarely, I don't think I've ever seen it 100% from start to finish. I've like caught it after it started and it goes really fast once it starts and it is amazing. So guess what? I stayed awake thinking it's going to be soon. And I'd watch TV and I'd be like, oh, it's going to happen pretty soon. Five hours later, <laughs> the transformation occurred. So that night, Saturday, before my shift on Saturday, I think I slept two and a half hours. It was not good. And then um, <laughs> Eddie had uh, brought me coffee. I had Snapchatted it. Oh, so I have the whole thing in video. I will be inserting that at the end of the video here. So um, you can watch all that if you want. And if it's not your thing, some people might be grossed out by it, but I just think it's amazing. That will be at the end of the video. Um, so <laughs> I was Snapchatting with somebody he works with. She and I have connected through Eddie and social media. So she saw me like going around getting the caterpillars and all that. So she lives out in the country and has two young children. So they went out on caterpillar hunts and she has like this whole counter filled with jars and containers with all the caterpillars they found. So we've been going back and forth and um, <laughs> she saw the transformation. She was like, oh my gosh, isn't it crazy? I've seen like two of them too. And she's like, yeah, you can't look away. And then I told Eddie, I said, I told her that I haven't slept. I go, you, if when you talk to Eddie, you better tell him he's going to need to bring me some coffee because he was coming home. So he calls me a little bit later and says, he goes, oh, so I hear I need to bring you like at least two, maybe four coffees because you haven't slept. And I'm like, yeah. So he did. He's the best. Um, so yeah, it's been so exciting. And two of them before I had the original two, Ma and Pa, are in their chrysalis right now. As of today, they have not um, hatched or started to really change. I expect in the next two days or so they will um, be complete and hatch out as butterflies. In the interim, originally, I can't remember if the first, the last video when I talked about them, there was like mom and dad and Kathy because there was like the baby Kathy. Well, we are now on Kathy the third. She keeps getting like substituted in like a really funny sitcom, you know, like Little House on the Prairie where um, Nellie was swapped out. I forget some other shows where they just, Roseanne, didn't they like just switch out the one daughter, the actress, but they never like addressed it. So we've had to do that. I've had some problems with Kathy. Not that Kathy's bad. This Kathy is bad. I have killed or lost four or five caterpillars since just this season and not intentionally it's just happened best intentions two i killed one i was so excited because i didn't see it hatch from the egg but it was like moments after it was out because i saw it and i got some great pictures and videos which maybe i'll just in no i'll insert those as well at the end because <laughs> again some people might not like it and it was so cool. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to document this whole process from like newborn day one through a butterfly. Um, 36 hours later, I had managed to kill it. I still don't know how. I think what happened, because I had that and another itty bitty that was a little bit bigger. I think I put it in a container. I took it out of the one the larger caterpillars were in because they will accidentally eat each other. And I put it like in a little disposable Rubbermaid type, you know, container. And I'd poked a bunch of holes in the top for air with a knife. And then I put the lid on because um, my cats are attracted to the leaves. And I had a leaf with two eggs on it that I did not have covered. And one of my cats chewed the leaf completely and killed the eggs. So those are two of the other ones that have not made it. So I put this lid on and it was just during the time, was it just, that was like two, three hours I was sleeping. I don't know if there wasn't enough air or because of how I did the like stabs instead of like a hole, they kind of just resealed themselves and they like ran out of air. I don't know, but I know they died. <laughs> 
and I felt terrible. And then there was another Kathy, Kathy the second. What happened to Kathy the first? I can't remember what happened to Kathy the first. Maybe she's the one I threw away by mistake. I was cleaning out. This was when I was still at work. I was cleaning out the cage and um, <laughs> forgot she was on some leaves and like shook the leaves out over the trash bin because they had like some dry grass from the yard being mowed. And then when I realized she wasn't on those leaves anymore, I took apart the entire garbage, including digging through apple cores and the like, and did not find her. So she, yeah, I threw her away. And then I think Kathy the second is one of the ones that was, um, suffocated slash died with the newborn. So we're on Kathy the third right now. Yeah. And then <laughs> the, I have, so the two original mom and dad are about to hatch. Then those two, there are two large ones, which were totally bonus. I found them when I went to pick leaves. Every day I have to give them fresh milkweed. And there would be like this big, big giant one sunning and eating. And I'm like, oh, here's where the irony comes in. In my head, I say, oh, I need to bring you into my care to ensure you are not killed by a predator in the wild and will be able to fulfill your destiny to become a butterfly and then fly away. I am the predator, evidently, who has killed. <laughs> they probably would have had a better chance if I'd left them outside. Seriously. Ugh. And not to mention once they hatch as butterflies, we all have seen them stuck in the grill of a car. Poor Eddie. <laughs> and he knows. Sorry, my nose is itching. Um, the connection with the monarchs and my parents um and he he feels the same way but as a truck driver he's like yeah he goes it's a good monarch season this year but not all of them are making it to mexico so there you go so that's been i can't sleep because i have to watch this exciting stuff um what else oh it is recording i just realized i'm like is this even recording 20 minutes in so that's been the most fun, exciting thing. And I told Eddie, I'm like, Eddie, I said, they're not all going to be in chrysalises or hatched before the retreat. I'm going to have to bring the babies along to the craft retreat. So that should be fun. I'm sure a lot of the uh, ladies will enjoy that. So that's what's going on. And then, yeah, Eddie will be off to help have an eye doctor appointment, my annual exam on Friday. And I'll be getting new glasses. I have no idea what style to get. I really do like these kind of like, you know, cat eye ones. I can't believe it's been over two years I've had them. Um, so, and I hate picking out new frames. It's just so hard. It's like, seriously, you put them on. You can't really see yourself because your eyes are bad. And I don't know, just with the big round head and double chins. And it's like, I never know what style looks good on me. So, and Eddie, you know, men are so much help. I think last time I like took a bunch of pictures and I was posting them on Snapchat and sending to some friends. Which ones? Which ones? So that's Friday. This past week, Thursday, had the annual girl mammogram squeeze. Um, FYI, I am a huge advocate of annual physicals with your doctor. Um... And it's not something I argue about with anyone out here. I've gotten comments about, oh, you know, if you could afford it or whatever. I'm not arguing about it. I'm telling you that in my opinion, if you care enough about yourself, which again can start a whole argument because people say if I cared about myself, I would not be this fat. But again, I'm just trying to say <laughs> that to me, it is important because, um, my uterine cancer was totally caught early because of an annual exam. Um, my mammograms, there's no history of breast cancer, but once you those cells are in you, I just want to be checked and I will pay out of pocket for it. I will budget and save because I know, I know men and women who have had breast cancer. It is not just a female disease. Um, men, if there's any men watching this, Remember that women who have men in your life, tell them that. Make sure they um, do their own self exams. And if there is anything fishy, talk to your doctor and figure out whether you need a mammogram. 
Just saying. So, oh, and I got my results. I love this. So you like get these results the next day and it's all electronics. It's like I made my appointment online. I didn't talk to anybody. And then I got my results online. I got my reminder online. So this is the first year, I think in three years that I didn't have to go back. Um, because what, I think it's my left breast has a spot, a nodule. It's probably a fatty tissue lump, cyst, whatever. And it's not a cyst. It's just, it comes across on the, um, I gotta, I gotta back up more. It comes across as an abnormality when they do the test. So I've had to like go back in and have a, um, ultrasound done on the area, but it's always come back clear. So I think maybe now this year, because they have those previous and last year was the first year I did the 3D mammogram. So now this year's results, they knew exactly, they could compare side by side with last year's 3D and probably just saw, yep, it's fine. So that's exciting. I did make my appointment for just my annual wellness physical and that is at the end of October. So there you go, no special exact reason. I just like to remind people because we all get so busy. And in fact, I was overdue for my mammogram. And then I just decided, nope, I need to do this. And I could get in and out. I was telling Eddie, go, they are the fastest appointments. I don't know how it is for everybody. Of course, it depends on your um, medical provider and all that. I was in from the parking lot when I parked my car, went in, had the procedure, and back out 15 minutes. And that's like taking my top off the whole nine yards. Um, 15 minutes. And I counted. So they do four images two of each breast you do a top one and a side one and where I was I counted and it was like 10 seconds was the amount of each squeeze so in under a minute all the squeezes were done and yeah it's worth it yeah is it enjoyable no it's uncomfortable but it's nothing that is unbearable okay so <laughs> They're my exciting life, I tell you. Is there anything else? I think that's the main things. Yeah, I'm just, you know, caterpillar, a butterfly crazy waiting for the butterflies. And work, it's still going well. I realized it's been officially a year now. Um, last year, oh my gosh, last summer was so terrible. Um, my season friends, you remember how... I was forced to stay at my old position until they hired a replacement for like, it was like three months that they forced me there. And I was trying to lose my, learn my new job. And, um, I was very much borderline full-blown anxiety, um, panic attacks and my HR and my managers didn't care. Basically told me I didn't have a choice. So it was a year ago maybe last week when I officially got to say goodbye to that old job and I have not missed it. So even as much of a poop show as my current position can be, and it's the, it's not the job, it's whatever, however you want to look, it's just the situation. There's a lot of issues higher up that someone's going to have to figure out and fix sooner or later, but, um, it's still so much better than where I came from. It's like, why did I wait so long to leave that position? But, okay, got nail polish on, can you see, you probably can't even see it. It came in my Ipsy this month, it's not going to focus, it's kind of a weird, it's like a peachy, shimmery, can we focus, no, because it's too close, anyway, it's almost like skin tone, and I didn't know if I'd like it, and when I see it in the screen, I don't like it, but, um, I don't hate it, I like it, oh, got to focus again, um, I use my hands a lot at work, writing and papers, and a lot of times polish will chip. This stuff is doing pretty good. So usually I like these lighter colors because if I do get a couple little chips, it's not super noticeable. And I put it on my toes too. I always got to test it. If I have it, I'll put in a picture quick of, this is what I got in Ipsy this month. <sighs> Since I don't do my unboxings and stuff anymore. I want to. I still plan to. I seriously have a pile of like boxes I've been waiting to unboxed in a video because I think they're interesting but I haven't done it um what else okay seriously I gotta move like I don't know I, I should just move my car huh well I can't because you guys are on top of the shifter okay well that was not the good idea turn it back off 
Oh, the other thing I was going to say, I don't do a lot of, um, shout outs, that kind of thing. Not, I don't like to call them shout outs, but I will thought, oh, maybe every now and then I want to share with you like a channel that I really enjoy watching. And I think, um, just based on conversations that we have with each other that I think some of you would enjoy and maybe you don't know of them. So the first one I was going to talk about that I love, well, I just love this person. She is one of the real people, good folks, and she has switched her channel. Some of you maybe knew her before, and I'm not going to say that name, her old channel, because if you didn't like her for some reason or her content, I don't want you to be prejudiced because her new content, if you are interested, is all about like financial budgeting and planning and organization and her name is Erin and it is called Oh My Goals. I will insert like a splash here and I'll link her channel down below and what I love about her, well one of the many things, is she is open and honest when it comes to like budgeting which I am horrid about. Um, I really struggle and I just feel overwhelmed especially with the amount of debt and all that and she is like showing you real time, real life, real numbers. Um, you know, she like knows how much income she's getting, she and her husband, and like shares exactly how she plans what's getting paid, how it's getting paid. Um, and she has different methods, you know, like she uses the cash envelopes and it's just, it's so nice and makes so much sense. And it's just like real world. It's not like, you know, it's like their numbers is how I look at it. So it doesn't matter how much or how little your income is. We all have to learn to budget and work within those means or we end up horribly in debt. So um, I just appreciate her openness and her willingness to share this process because I know it's helping people. And she's just really a nice person, a nice, good, genuine person. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, um, go check her out, subscribe. Um, she's also crafty and does a lot of, um, you know, makes things to help with her organizing. And I think she started to sell again, this is like not, I'm not trying to make you go buy stuff from her, but some of the tools she's created herself for her organizational and budgeting, um, she has available. So go, go see if you, um, can benefit. I think we all can benefit. I know, I think not enough time is spent on budget and real life situations in schools to like help people learn. You know, it's like it, not enough, not enough. So that's who I'm going to talk about today. Today, this week, and every week I'm not going to necessarily give a shout out. I just want to like share what I like to watch. And they might be small channels, big channels. I just, that's how we all find people to watch. That's how most of you found me was probably because I popped as a, you might like, or you um, just searched probably from when I was doing hauls and stuff. I mean, it's, it's interesting how we all meet, but um, the really good people that I think can have something to help other people with. I like to share that. So go talk to Erin. I need to like send her a card. I was just thinking that just because maybe I'll make some this weekend and send them to several friends who at least if I have their addresses, I don't have everybody's address, but quite a few of my regular friends from out here, um, we exchange Christmas cards and stuff. So I like to just send a random little card. I think that's it. I have officially talked a really long time. So if you are interested in seeing the butterfly stuff, um, keep watching. I will insert the first, I'll show you the like little guy that like hatched before I killed him. And then I will show you the, um, actual transformation of the, um, but, or the, caterpillar into its chrysalis. It is like amazing. And hopefully I'll be able to capture when one of the butterflies emerges from the chrysalis because that would be another pretty awesome video. Providing I stay awake for it. But that's what I have to say to all of you. And as always, the most important thing I say in every video is to remind you, you matter. We're all just, you know, 
cruising along in life as these little caterpillars and we get dinged a lot we get attacked we get um you know we have predators after us all the time and if we stay diligent stay positive remember that we are important and make a difference we come out on the other end beautiful butterflies you my dear friends are all beautiful butterflies already so don't forget how much you matter you truly make my life so much better i love you keep watching for caterpillar snaps and i will hopefully see you again next week and i'll have an update on how the retreat I'm home. It was a night at work. I did okay. Hey, I'm going to the eye doctor next week. What do you guys think of these frames? Anyway, yeah. <sighs> I did okay. I actually did fairly well considering all the weird random stuff that happened, but it was just like so draining. <laughs> so, I'm gonna sleep. Actually, gonna take care of the caterpillar babies and then get some sleep. So let's see how they're doing. So this would be Kathy's little sister who's growing quite nicely and was trying to escape looking for food. So I'm trying to get her to crawl on. There she goes. Come on, let go. Ooh, oh, let your butt go. There we go. So she can eat. And then I'm a little scared because here's Kathy. Well, I had this in there because I'm running out of containers and there was a baby on here. Do you think she ate it? Hey, let's see what I can find. Yay, the baby's still there. Is it alive? That remains to be seen. It's pretty tiny. Hello, are you alive? Did I scare you to death with big old Kathy in there? Well, yeah, they're alive. Okay, so I got to get, she's like got big really fast, Miss Kathy. So here, we won't zoom in so you can get a better idea. So here's Kathy, the third, I should say, because, you know, I killed two of them. And then there's the little sister. And there's the itty, itty, bitty sister. Which is not one of the babies that I actually hatched because I killed them. And in here, I think there's two hanging. But let's take care of this first. Okay, so I'm tired and I kind of want to go to bed. But this guy, I don't know who it is. Aunt and uncle, we decided, has been starting to squiggle. And the other one isn't in a J yet. So I'd really love to capture the change into the chrysalis because it's pretty awesome and I rarely get to see it. But at least you can have a good view of what the caterpillar looks like. See that white stuff way on the top? It's not like a spider web, but kind of. It makes like a little silk. It connects itself.
guys, I haven't gone to sleep yet because I am entranced by the caterpillar. And I keep thinking, pretty soon, it's going to be pretty soon. Pretty soon, I'm going to have to go back to work. But hey, let me show you what's going on. So I think it will be soon. Um, the one on the left that just turned, you might be able to see how perky yet the antenna are. See how they're pretty straight. It's just, see, they're always like moving their heads and their mouths. I don't quite know what they're doing. But the color is still normal because that one's only been hanging for a little bit. The one over here though, see how the antenna have gone kind of shrivelly and limp. Um, even the shapes a little different. You can see how it's getting like wider up on top. And yeah, the color in real life is like losing that yellow. So it's kind of like peel. I don't know how to explain it, but it's going to like, it doesn't spin a chrysalis. It's actually what's happening right inside there. And that outer skin layer is all going to come right off. What I'm trying to figure out is if it's like chewing it, I can't get a good angle. But see how the head's always moving up there? And it'll start splitting from the bottom and then the skin will kind of just like peel back all the way up until it eventually then will fall off. So it's like, I don't want to miss this because seriously, if I go to sleep, it's going to just happen super fast once it starts. Ugh. So I might not have any sleep, but if I can catch it, I will show you. <sighs> Come on, little caterpillar. Do your thing. I, I think it's about to happen. Ah, darn it. I thought that big white thing was like the skin opening. Maybe it's just a stripe. Ah, seriously, I need to go to bed, caterpillar. Please, hurry up. Split your skin. Okay, seriously, it's got to be super close. Starting to like, you know, hang straighter, doing some serious muscle contractions. <sighs> Is it going to happen? The antenna are like just hanging. You can tell they're totally lifeless. Uh, come on. Share with all the friends this miracle. <sighs> Can you imagine the amount of work that's going on inside? Do you think he has anxiety? Like <gasps> the world is watching? This is super cool. Look, look, see, I told you, the skin just splits. <laughs> so that is the chrysalis. Well, I don't know, it's still transforming. Oh, catching its breath, although I have no idea what it's breathing through now because its head just split in half. Did it fall down yet? No. I have a, uh, tissue to collect the pieces. Holy smokes, it's going fast. It's super cool. It's going to be the longest flipping Snapchat stories ever. Even longer than me just doing my normal rambling. But hey, you don't see this every day. Well, I guess unless you like Google it, somebody probably did a whole time lapse in a second kind of a thing. Look at that. You can see, I don't know. It's not the stripes. 
Because why would the stripes have different bandwidths? Look how fast it's getting. Seriously, by the time I hit like post, it's completely changed. Now it's all just contracting. And I think it's going to shrink up quite a bit. That top part, you can see that white line. Pretty sure that's going to become the gold dotted line. Wow. You can see why my mom loved this so much. It's really cool. It was a beautiful caterpillar. And now it's, you know, kind of lumpy and bumpy. Reminds me of my own body right now. Uh, seriously wiggling trying to get the skin off. Just looks so weird now without having a caterpillar head. And the fact that it doesn't fall down Please, Lord, don't let me jinx it. I've not been doing very good here. But it's like super secured on there to stay. I mean, that is like some serious... Oh, skin just fell. I can show you that later. This is way more exciting. It's like, what is going on in there? The twist. Should have some music in the background. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of like the whole um, circle of life thing going on here. We got guy over there, not moving quite as much. Still gotta get its shape. This guy's just starting. Over in there, I got two that are getting closer. And then down below, we got two just munching. And yeah, there's the discarded skin. It's slowing down now. It's a big change. Every now and then I look up and it does like a big wiggle. But I'm not sure how long it takes to get in the final form. Down here at these two, Kathy the third there, is kind of a big bully. She hasn't figured out they're on like a giant leaf. They just have to bite it. So they keep running into each other. And they can't see very well. They each have six eyes, but they have very poor eyesight. Which is why sometimes if there's a baby in there, they'll eat it. But little sister's just trying to rest. This one, all good she can think of is food. And she keeps bumping in to little sister. And I don't know if she bites her or what. But I don't, it's more of a reaction thing. I don't think they're actually, like, fighting. Okay, I need to go try and get some sleep. Because if work tonight is going to be anything like last night, I'm already doomed by not having much sleep. But, yes, that white line is going to turn to be golden and you can kind of see there's like some spots i want to point but my finger will be giant um towards the bottom there you can see there's kind of one spot and then there will do like little dot dot dots those will turn gold and this will all shrink up and it'll look like sorry it's going to be really hard to see because i'm too zoomed in and it's through the through the little container but you can see I've shown you the gold stuff before so good job caterpillar not quite sure what to do with that sound like the tooth fairy and these two at least have gone to opposite ends